hello students and hope all of you are fit and fine in this pandemic situation <coughs> every day i think to give a new innovative things for my students so today exclusively we are starting with the discussion of laravel laravel is actually another type of framework which is used by almost maximum number of developers for designing and implementing the web applications this particular framework is based on mvc that is model view and controller to learn this particular web programming language the basic thing that we should require to know are first at least you have a clear cut idea about the static programming language that is html css javascript little bit about ajax and the most important that is php so again i am repeating my words for learning the concept of laravel and implementing the website using the laravel all we need to clear the concept regarding the php yes obviously the core php so if you are not comfortable with the php i suggest all my listeners just to go through the basics of php and then try for the laravel but journey never stops so today i hope that all of you have the clear fundamentals regarding html css javascript and ajax with core php now in today's session my primary aim is how to install laravel into the system now for installing the laravel into the system laravel requires some prerequisite that means some fundamental things should required in the system for installing the laravel so the first thing which you required in your system is xamp or wamp i will show you the icon of xamp or wamp so it would be <coughs> clear for all the viewers no doubt this is a very common and a simple thing but still i would like to share each and every part of the installing laravel into the system so whenever we install the xamp in a system successfully it shows a control panel like this xamp control panel my version is 3.2.2 i request all of you to install the latest version of xamp now after installing the xamp just confirm that your apache and my sql is running successfully if your apache and my sql is running successfully it shows in this green bar it means your apache and my sql is installed successfully one more thing once you observe and installed the xamp in a system just go into the config httpd open the httpd.config file in notepad just press control f which opens the search window find window and in that 
type port once you type port just go to the listen and over here you will find your port id on which your apache is working so my apache is working on the port called 8081 he over here maximum number of students professional makes the mistake that <coughs> sorry that they says that my zamp is installed but successfully uh, zamp is installed successfully but not working properly that might be the conflict of port over here so just look at to the port that you have on which you have installed number 2 just type document root or simply you can say root and search for the document root here you will find your document root directory by default if you may if you didn't change anything then it would be in c drive zamp htdocs so htdocs is the web root directory of your zamp in which all the web files is going to be resides so initially just check all these things and then we can go ahead for the further installation of laravel now after checking all the necessities regarding to the zamp step number 2 for laravel what we requires we requires an appropriate composer now what is composer so we can say that it is a one type of component which is compulsory for running the laravel in your local system so how can we download or how can we install the composer simply just type composer dot org in a url on which your system have an internet you will find a composer website sorry some spelling mistake is there just type composer over here and you will be redirected to the uh, official website of composer that is getcomposer.org i forgot to write get now once you redirected over the official website of composer here you will see that which is the latest version of composer over here so it's a 2.2.4 just go into the download and here it will provide many ways to install the composer in your system but the easiest which uh, easiest way which i found for installing the composer in the system is to download the composer.exe file so what i am doing what i am going to do is just click on composer setup.exe it will download composer.exe file in your default download folder so my default download folder is d drive download composer dash setup now once this particular installation is downloaded what i am going to do is over the desktop here i have created a one folder called laravel and in that laravel i am just putting that composer setup file so composer is downloaded successfully even i will tell you that how to install the composer successfully in the system but later on but before that one more thing which came in my mind regarding the installation of laravel is that laravel will work in your system only if the php version is higher than 7.2.5 again i am repeating my words for installing the laravel in your system 
द पी एच पी वर्जन शुड बी हायर देन सेवन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट फाइव इफ योर इफ योर सिस्टम है ओल्डर वर्जन देन दिस लारा विल विल नॉट गोइंग टू बी इंस्टॉल इन योर सिस्टम सो आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द लिस्नर टू गो थ्रू दिस एंड ट्राई टू इंस्टॉल द लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ पी एच पी और द हायर वर्जन देन सेवन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट फाइव ना वंस इट इज डन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू चेक वेदर द कंपोजर इज ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल इन द सिस्टम और नॉट समाइम वॉट हैपन कंपोजर इज ऑलरेडी देर इन योर सिस्टम एंड यू आर ट्राइंग टू इंस्टॉल इट अगेन एंड अगेन इट विल गिव यू द एक्सेप्शन मैसेज सो इट्स बेटर टू चेक वेदर द सिस्टम कंटेन्स द कंपोजर और नॉट सो हाउ टू चेक इट सिंपली जस्ट प्रेस विंडोज एंड आर और यू कैन से द रन ओपन द रन विंडो टाइप सी एम डी कमांड एंड प्रेस एंटर इट विल ओपन द सी एम डी कमांड ओवर हियर एंड ओवर दिस सी एम डी कमांड टाइप कंपोजर दैट इज सी ओ एम पी ओ S E R and press enter. Now, if the composer is installed in your system previously, then it will show a message like this. Here I will show you. In my system, already composer is installed. The version of composer which is in my system. is 1.9.1 which is, uh, this is the older version of composer so now what i am going to do is i am going to update it with the new version of composer so for that again i am exiting from this cmd command and then over the dash uh, desktop i have created a laravel folder and in the laravel folder i have a composer setup file so i'm just pressing that particular composer setup file <coughs> it shows install for all users click on this press yes go next next third time next and press install wait for the moment and it will update the composer which is there in your system so here you can see that the setup process of composer is successfully done very short simple and less time consuming setup procedure is there for the composer once the composer is successfully installed press finish the window will disappear from your screen just go into the xamp stop both the services that is apache as well as mysql and then restart both the services for taking effects of the updated composer so here what i have done i have stopped both the services and then again i am restarting both the service now as you can see over the screen both the services is started port number is assigned the port number for my apache is uh, 443801 and that means 8081 and for my sql is 3306 so this 3306 is the default port id for my sql over the local area network only right suppose you want to go for the global one then you need to change the port id from 3306 to tcp ip based port id so right now will not make change into this let's go ahead so over here my composer setup is that now we have to go for the step number 3 once the composer setup is successfully done 
we need to install all the laravel dependencies that is all the laravel libraries in my system so for that what we have to do again we have to go for the command mode that means open a cmd command then over the cmd command type composer space global space require r e q u i r e require laravel slash installer and press enter again i am repeating the command composer global require laravel slash installer now once you press this particular command and if everything goes uh, well all the dependencies of the laravel get installed into the system one more thing here i would like to share with all of you that depends on your internet connection speed this dependencies will take some time to get installed in your system so i request all of you to wait for the completion of the entire process now once the entire process is successfully completed you will your prompt will be written back so half of the installation process for laravel is completed again we have to go for the another half part of the installing laravel now what we have to do next next we have to decide where we are going to install the laravel that means in which drive of your system your computer system have the multiple drives like c drive d drive e drive f drive etc etc so many drives are there so i wish to install the laravel in d drive so what i have to do for installing the laravel in d drive so for that first of all i have to move into the d drive so what i am writing is d and colon see you should require the basic knowledge of typing the dos base commands right it might difficult for all of you that what i am going to do over here is little bit difficult to digest but these are the dos commands that you need to learn also so in short i have uh, moved from c drive to d drive then in d drive by firing the command called mkdir mkdir command is a make directory command which create a new directory in d drive so i just want to show you one thing just open my computer go in d drive here there is no a laravel folder right so what i am going to do is mkdir laravel press enter automatically here the laravel folder will be created and this is due to the mkdir command now once the laravel folder is created go inside the laravel folder so for moving into the laravel folder type cd and laravel so as you can see over my screen that now i am in a laravel folder now once the laravel folder is created now it's time to create my project directory into the root directory called laravel so the next step is type laravel then new then the name of your project so what happens in d drive in laravel in mvm all the dependencies of the laravel will be fetched from the internet and get installed into the folder called mvm here mvm is my name you can give any name of your project 
right say for example suppose i am developing a project for e-commerce then just give e-com a short form suppose i am designing a website for blog then give blog suppose i am designing a website for uh, online recharge then give digital services so on right so here i have given the name called mvm because just we are installing the laravel in my system so press enter <coughs> now once you press enter the installation exit installation of laravel get started from over here you can see on my screen that laravel welcome screen is over there and all the dependencies from the internet getting installed in my system so wait for few minutes again a uh, one common instruction for all the listeners that this is a time consuming matter just wait for a few minutes maybe it will take 5 to 10 minutes to get install the laravel in a system properly and if your internet speed is very high and a proper then laravel will will, auto, uh, will fastly get installed into the system also you can see over my screen that so many messages and so many progress bars are there this progress bars are indicating that laravel is successfully installing into the system so let's have a one question <coughs> till the completion of laravel process is not completed can you tell me in a comment in which drive and in which folder right now i am installing my laravel you have to give the answer in which drive and in which folder i am installing my laravel that means which is the project folder name of my laravel as i have already indicated you it might take few minutes so we have to wait till the entire procedure successfully gets completed then and then we can go ahead for the step number 5 one more thing which i would like to share with all of you that try to read each and every message which comes in front of your screen while installing the laravel which indicates that what are the different files are getting installed from internet to your system see laravel is a such type of framework which is not like a drag and drop framework that means we don't have to go for a website then we don't have to browse for the download download will give you the zip file then we have to extract it then we have to go for configuration file then we have to make the change into the configuration not like that but it will lively fetch all the dependencies from the official of laravel and then it will install into the system so here one question will solved in my session that which version of laravel we are going to install so it is already there onto the screen the version which we are going to install into the system is 8.80.0 that means 8.8 <coughs> now during the installation of laravel <coughs> laravel not only install the dependent library statements but it also install the various other plugins and the components inside the system also day by day if i got the positive answer from all the listeners then i will upload other lectures where i will demonstrate how to how can we use all the libraries and plugins for the routine purpose also even we will also implement a basic website 
using the Laravel also. But this is just a installation steps because I got so many questions over my uh, WhatsApp that over my messenger that sir please write sir please uh, explain us that how to install the Laravel. So that's why today I have created this particular video and uh, demonstrating you to how to uh, uh, demonstrating you that how to install the Laravel into the system in a very easy way. So let's wait for Laravel to get installed into the system. So as you can see over my screen, application ready builds something amazing. That means all the dependencies of Laravel for my project folder name called MVM is successfully installed. Now what we have to do? We have to check that whether the Laravel is working properly or not. So for that what I have to do? Simply again type cd and the name of your project folder name. So name of my project folder name is MVM. So I am typing cd slash MVM. You will be there into the D drive, Laravel and MVM. Then after, for checking Laravel is successfully installed into the system or not, what I have to type? PHP artisan, A R T I S A N, artisan, then serve, S E R V E. Again, I am repeating the command PHP space artisan A R T I S N space serve S E R V E. <coughs> now over here, hundred and ten percent question came in in your in your mind is that what is artisan, right? So let me clear it. Then I will press the enter button. Artisan is actually a command line interface for executing the various Laravel commands. Again, I am repeating the words. Artisan is actually the command line interface for executing the various Laravel commands. It rectifies all the commands of valid commands of the Laravel and then it will execute over the screen. So, uh, I will not speak more related to the theories because theories are always boring. I am just pressing the enter button. Once you press the enter button, it shows that starting Laravel development server and then it will return a one port ID onto the screen. So the port ID which I return, uh, which return onto the screen is HTTP. Let me copy it and paste it over the notepad. So it would be visible to all of you. So this is the port ID which has been returned by that particular command. That is HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 8000. So now what I have to do? Just copy this particular entire URL into the browser that you are using. So over here I am pasting that URL and just press enter <coughs> and that's it. Your Laravel is working very fine. There is a welcome screen onto the browser that Laravel is successfully installed. So this is the way for installing Laravel in your system. One more thing before concluding the lecture, before concluding the session. The operating system which I am using is Windows 10 32 bit. So keep it in mind and according to that try to install Laravel using a various command 
in your system so thank you very much for listening me and have a nice day